Hey folks, let's learn something new about the oil and gas industry. All right, today we have something a little bit different. Brian and I just could not figure out how to get in the same town at the same time. So we decided <laughs> to do this interview via Skype. So good morning, Brian. Good morning, Mark. Thanks um, for uh, having me today. Oh, absolutely. So where are you geographically? I am geographically located in Chicago, Illinois. So how's the weather today in Chicago? You know, I'm looking outside, and you might be able to tell by the reflection behind me in the picture. And it's probably 75 degrees and beautiful and sunny. Yeah, I'm so jealous. It's 97 degrees here, 90% humidity already. It's like, ugh, the summer's already hit. Why, that's why, that's why we're doing it via Skype. I don't want to be in Houston <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah, touche on that one. So Brian works for this really interesting company called Expert Systems, and they do something called, help me with this, Brian, semantic intelligence? Yes, semantic uh, analysis of content, and what it comes down to is really being able to look at structured and unstructured content, but more specifically unstructured in words and context. So let's and, talk about that a little bit. So what does that actually mean for a company? Uh, what it means for a company is most organizations have either keyword engines deployed or keyword technology or statistics based. And the challenge they run into is word ambiguity. And to give you one example, if you take the word stock, if I said the word, a sentence to you, I have, I bought 10,000 shares of stock in Apple computer. Like you understand what I mean by stock right. and Apple. But if I change that and I say, I have 10,000 apples in stock, I've just changed context. So apple and stock take on new meaning, right. which is incredibly important to the oil and gas industry, yeah. is understanding that ambiguity. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, there's terminology in, in this industry that exists nowhere else. And so you're telling me that your, your system can actually go in and look at the unstructured data in an oil and gas company and make sense of all this stuff so that when people need to find it, they can find it. Correct. Wow. Yeah, what we really focus on is uh, adding dynamic metadata to unstructured content, and therefore it's structured. And now we can also start co-mingling the unstructured with the structured. Yeah, so not to get too far over our audience's head, so basically the structured data is data that you have a descriptor about, which is what you're calling a meta metadata. And unstructured data, you don't have that description. Is that, is that close? Correct. Yeah. The unstructured data usually has a few pieces of metadata in there, you know, like a date or a, word, a document type, things like that. But there's not a whole lot of information around the unstructured text itself. So if an oil and gas company had, you know, 20 or 30 years of paper records and they, and they scanned them and, and used optical character recognition so they actually had this data, your system could go in and, and are, my understanding is actually read it almost like a person would and understand where it fits? Yes, because we use a combination of linguistics and semantics. And that example you just used was perfect because one of the big deployments in the oil and gas industry is shared drive analysis. So these organizations have uh, network shared drives spread out around the world, and there's a lot of valuable content on there, but the oil and gas industry hasn't been leveraging it to the, its full potential. Right. So that's one of the deployments is uh, analyzing network shared drives. Man, that is huge. So right now with these low crude prices, operational efficiency, especially for upstream, is all of a sudden important. Your ability for your people to find what they need as quickly as possible affects the bottom line. And you actually, you actually impact that in a big way. Right. This is about making content findable and reusable. But also, if you have the ability to understand the contextual relevance of the terminology, uh, one deployment it was through the health, safety, and environmental taxonomy that an organization built. And what they discovered uh, was they were trying to determine what type of uh, accidents were occurring at well sites. And what they discovered were there a lot, there's a lot of information about burns. But what they quickly figured out is there's a difference in burns. Some are hot burns, some are cold burns. And having the ability to analyze content correctly enables them to look at their information more accurately. Man, that is huge because you know as well as I do that hs &E is a major driver in this industry. Man, this is like rocket scientists. Um, so, Brian, if somebody wanted to learn a little bit more about what y'all do, where should they go? They should go to expertsystem.com. Yeah, and folks, we'll put a link in the show notes so you have to be taking notes. Brian, thank you so much for your time today. Appreciate it, Mark. Thanks for calling. Yeah, folks, I hope this helped. We will see you next time.